Hey guys, you're watching Kitty Crafts. Welcome to another miscellaneous Monday video where instead of showing you a DIY or crafting video as usual, I wanted to show you guys my university dorm room that I lived in during my third year of university. So for the past three years, I've been living on residence, meaning that I've been living on my school campus. And every year I switch to a different dorm room, but I've never really shown you guys how I decorated the dorm room and what it's been like to live there until this year. I would really wanted to show you guys what it looked like and if any of you guys are going to university this year and you're living in a dorm room it's a really different experience to be on your own and to be away from things that you're used to so good luck with that if you are moving into your first dorm room and if you guys like watching room tour videos give this video a thumbs up and I might show you guys my studio room really soon right after I set it up I'm actually in it right now it has a blue wall and I'm super excited to see how that will turn out but anyway without Without further ado, let's check out my dorm room. I live on the top floor of my townhouse with two other housemates and right beside my room I have this convenient storage area to keep my shoes and some extra supplies. I also have this mini fridge where I keep some snacks and drinks so that they don't take up too much space in the kitchen fridge which is shared by everyone in the house. As you can see, I decorated the outside of my dorm room with some posters and a veil curtain so that I can have a little bit of privacy when I prop the door open. These doors close on their own so they're very heavy and I always have to get two of my door stoppers to keep it open. Here's what you see right when you enter my dorm room and to the right is my favorite section that I love spending time in. Welcome to my chill, reading, and playing music area where I often lie on the ground wondering what I'm going to do after I graduate. I've got my Fender Stratocaster with a Walmart butterfly chair, and on the wall I've got some decorated wired grids and a cute letterboard that I got for my birthday. I also bought this floor lamp from Walmart and it's been perfect for my late night reading right before going to bed. Here I've got a full length mirror that I also got from Walmart and an essential decorative poster. A school dorm room usually comes with all the basic furniture that you need. So this is my wardrobe that holds all of my hoodies and sweaters. It's pretty big. I don't even have something like this in my own house. So this has been really useful and can hold a lot of things. I also use the provided shelf to hold a lot of my room decor, snacks, binders, and work materials for school. Speaking of school, the most important thing that I do here is studying and being a student. So this is my cave or nook where I study and work on all of my assignments. With the way I position the table, it's a bit of a squeeze to actually get to my chair. But once I sit down, I can see all of my schedules and due dates for assignments. I've got my desktop for editing videos and in case my laptop doesn't work and some more decorations. Underneath that are some more drawers to hold all my stuff and a printer for printing all my assignments and notes. Beside my recycling and garbage, I have this switch extension cord that could turn off and on all of the lights in my study area. I spend a lot of time here studying, doing work, listening to music, watching videos, and sometimes even eating meals. So I try to make it as comfortable and cozy as possible. The last corner of this room is my bed and dresser. I like to sleep facing the window so that the sun can wake me up in the morning, even though I have at least five different alarms on my phone and a frog alarm clock that screams at me in Chinese. I put a beanbag chair here so I can sit down and play some Wii U games that I hooked up to this computer monitor. I have a coffee pot for boiling water and a $75 flashlight that I use to get things when it's dark. Here I have some more essential posters for decoration and one of my favorite parts of this room is that it gets really bright during the day since my room faces the west side of campus. The sun is usually shining in and I can grow my plants here really well. This one has been doing super well and the other ones are doing alright too. Here's the original layout of my room before I brought in all of my stuff and moved around some furniture. Sometimes a little bit of rearranging and bringing in your own room decor or extra furniture like rugs and chairs can really make your room personalized and functional for you. I'm really lucky to have spent my third year of university living in this dorm room. I love it a lot and I'm so glad I got to share it with you guys. 
Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope you got a glimpse of what my university dorm room looks like and maybe got some ideas for how you can decorate your own dorm room or your future dorm room. As I said before, this is my third year living on residence and usually what university students do is they live on campus for the first year just to experience what it's like to live on campus and make a ton of friends and then they move off campus for the remaining years. But I've really enjoyed living on campus and just being really close to all of the buildings, all of my classes, and also all the restaurants and places to get food. So it's been really great living here. And if you wanna see my weekly university life, you can check out my channel that I've linked in the description below. I just love this room so much. I really hope that I'll be able to live here next year. They said I could, but housing usually has something that happens so i'm not gonna be so sure that's it for the video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft bye